Okay, he said, regarding the Polaris building, when is enough enough? You know what? I love that question because it's really relevant. The biggest problem that I have about the enough enough is for us to go seeking funds from the state government now that says, oh, they're cutting back in our uh, health and social services area. Uh, I don't think they're going to be apt to give us money to tear down a building if they're making serious cuts in that much needed area. So there's a problem there. We're going to go out, I mean years ago, to take that building down it was three to four, three to four million dollars. Now I'll bet you it's four to six. We have a problem with our landfill at the borough with space. Some of that building would have to go out to John Reeves place. So you've got, you know, you've got these costs that are just going to be so huge if we tear it down. Yeah, it's an ugly building. I gotcha. But in this climate, if you tore it down, who's going to come in here in the days that we have and put that kind of building up? I mean, that replacing something that size, something phenomenal would have to happen in this community. So when is enough enough? I think if we can't find six million dollars to tear it down, we need to do the very best we can to work with Marlowe to get that building renovated. I've seen and heard ideas. I know it's, his loan requires 30% commercial, so that means it will have an active uh, first floor, active on the street, and he's talked about doing, again, a restaurant up top, which would be fabulous. We all remember the Tiki Cove. But when is enough enough? I'm with you, but I think enough is enough when and if we have to take it down and when we can find that money, the four to six million. That's a problem, folks. I'd rather, you know, that's six to four, four, four to six million in our community on something else. Fabulous. To think about asking for that money to tear that down, I hope to goodness he makes it work. Thank you. Mr. Marlowe's already had several extensions in the past. And, and council, city council finally said September 30. That's like the drop dead date. That's when enough is enough. If he can come up with a viable plan, we're going to hear from him on the 23rd. But like I said, it's the fourth time, as I recall, that I've heard from him. It's been sitting there 10 years. Um, the latest estimates I heard were four to five million to tear it down. You've got to tent it. It's got asbestos carted away. You know, uh, excavate, fill, uh, backfill. I would talk to our community partners, the borough, and talk to the state government. Uh, to try to come up with that money, we had to do that. You know, we've got a state that socked about $15 billion in the savings accounts. Of course, got a $42 billion permanent fund. Uh, between the city and the borough and waiving tipping fees and this, some state help, uh, we can manage. And it'll be time after September 30 to move ahead with condemnation. That process will probably take a year or two, so it's not going to be immediate. 